Hey guys, how you doing? Uncle Steph here. So ChatGPT, its most useful application for me is just helping me deal with all the emails I get. I get so many emails. I got like 75, 100 I'm backlogged on. A lot of them are for sponsored requests and I get all these offers. I get, I get sometimes three to five offers a day. Well, that happens often. Anyway, so one of the most legit applications of GPT is its ability to uh, scan emails, check to see the legitimacy of the source. I, I get emails from all kinds of people. Maybe 5% of them are scammers. Uh, this is for the uh, sponsorship deals, for example. So it's great. I just put the email in there, all the details. They say check out. And it knows now, right? Because GPT has memory, it knows what I'm looking for. So it's able to assess the sender, how legit it is, how well does it align with what I do, uh, what the company is all about, and then it's able to craft responses quickly and so forth. Now I check everything, but because, again, it's narrowly scoped, meaning I use GPT, it does the very specific things, and it's been, it kind of remembers that now. So I'm able to take like days of work and reduce it down to an hour, which is fantastic, Answer, just answering all these emails. That's where AI comes in handy. You have to know what you're doing, but it can take care of a lot of the uh, grunt work, a lot of the ditch digging work, if you will. That's why a lot of junior devs are not getting jobs, right now anyway, because uh, the traditional junior dev role is now being replaced by AI, but there's going to be a new junior dev role, as I've been talking about in these videos, where junior devs, you got to know your foundations, but instead of being able to tinker around with the details of React or something, you have to know how to work with React within the context or with the help of AI. There are three AI implementations, right? There's uh, augmented uh, some people call it agentic AI development, augmented development, where you use AIs to help build components of a traditional app. You could also have vibe coding, which is good for prototyping, uh, building one-off projects that don't have to be updated because uh, the code from uh, vibe coding, generated vibe coding code, there we go, code that's generated via vibe coding oftentimes is mm, not very good. And of course, then there's AI first development, which is... Um, like my Brad Fit fitness coaching app. Anyhow, uh, there you go. So that's the story. What was the original point of this video? Yeah, the main use of, uh, for me, with GPT is just being able to help me to go through all the grunt work of assessing all these emails, looking up individuals automatically, looking up companies, letting me know if those companies are legit, the individuals are legit, uh, do they have products or services that conflict with me or not? Huge time savers.